my great friend and a solid labor mother, comrade, honorable Paul Chet Greda, chairman of the Antigua and Barbuda Labor Party. Come on, comrade, you're keeping too quiet. Let me hear you, mother, as I bring comrade Paul Chet Green to the microphone. Thank you, Comrade Smith. Good morning, comrades. Happy Labor Day. I recognize the Honorable Prime Minister, Gaston Brown, the hardest working man in town. I also recognize the Honorable Lester Brian Bird, former Prime Minister and Emeritus Leader of the Antigua Barbie Labor Party. The President of the Union, Mr. Wigley George, or Senator Wigley George. Colleague, ministers, and other functionaries of the government of Antigua and Barbuda, and of course the officials of the Antigua Trades and Labor Union. This morning we gather here in reverence for the work done some 64 years ago by the founding fathers of the labor movement. It was 64 years ago that the leaders of the Antigua Trades and Labor Union decided to work to fight even to ensure that this day is set aside for worker celebration. Because there's much to celebrate on the part of workers. But not only do we celebrate or come today in reverence for the work of those who started this movement 64 years ago, but we also come to pay homage to the work of those who continue the movement over the ensuing period. The 76ers, those of 1980, 1984, 89, and it goes on and on until today we come to celebrate the work of those who are entrusted the responsibility of moving the government and governance of this country forwards. I speak particularly of the work being done by the Gaston Brown led administration and more so to the work being led and spearheaded by the Honorable Gaston Brown, Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda. Comrades, in 2014, one short year ago, I stood here and almost prophetically said that we had in our midst the next Prime Minister. Yes. It's not prophecy today. It is reality. Yes. The people of Antigua and Barbuda on June 12, 2014 decided to change the course of this country's history and direction. And today you are Prime Minister of the government, busy, actively working on ensuring that the dreams of the people of this country are realized. When we promised you more jobs and less taxes, we were serious. We meant it. When we told you we were going to lower utility bills, we meant it. Every promise we made to you in 2014 will be kept. We told you we were going to remove income tax, and we are going to remove it. It is because of the hole we met in government that we have had to delay the reduction or removal rather of income tax. I know you're following the stories. You'd have heard Comrade Marvin Joseph, the Prime Minister, and other colleagues in the Parliament speak to the whole of $400 million that we call up on the plug at ABIB to save the job of Antigua workers and an Antigua institution. We are committed to those things. Mark you 2014 on the political hostings, we did not know the enormity of the problem. And so we promised we'll fix it, and yes, we'll fix it. Today, we know the reality, we know the facts. Fixing the $400 million problem in ABIB is one of the reasons we have to delay the removal, total removal of income tax. But we'll fix that, and the workers of ABIB and the, in, the, the institution of ABIB, which was created by Antiguans and Barbudans, will also be preserved and protected. That is promise made and promise we will keep. Yes. And the hostage, we promised you much investment. And already you have seen just last week two major rollouts. The Perns Point project that was rolled out last Saturday. Four days after on Thursday, we're at Barnacle Point rolling out a 200 billion US dollar investment project called the EDA project. Comrades, we did not talk idle. We made you sound and solemn promises which we are prepared to keep and which we are keeping. We made promises to the people of Barbuda that no longer will it be seen of Antigua one way and Barbuda the next way, but a unitary state, Antigua and Barbuda. And so, the Paradise Project in Barbuda, that too, is a promise made, promise being kept. Comrades, I want you, as I asked the comrades at North Street on Friday, 
to every day you go on your knees, remember Comrade Gaston Brown of Prime Minister in your prayers. He's the hardest working member of his government and he leads by example for country. When we told you in 2014 and before that we want to develop a culture of excellence in this country, it's not something reserved for the Antigua Labour Party only. It is something we want to become national, a culture of excellence. Everything we touch, everything we do, everything we aspire towards must be done with excellence aforethought and in our actions. This morning's celebration, three parts as I mentioned to you for me. Reverence for those who started this movement. Homage for those who continue the momentum. And celebration for the work being done today. We have every reason to be proud, my dear comrades. And as I close, I want to remind you that to build Antigua and Barbuda, into the economic powerhouse that we are committed to making it. It requires a commitment on the part of every man, woman, boy and girl. As we work towards making Antigua and Barbuda the powerhouse of the region and indeed making sure we create the jobs that are required for the people of this country. We ask for commitment. We ask you of the Antigua and Barbuda party first and foremost wherever you find yourselves, to be the most productive. I want to repeat that. Because membership has its rights, and membership has its obligations and responsibilities. A responsibility, a fundamental responsibility of the mem of membership of the anti Labour Party is that you be the most productive in any circle, any sphere, any area you find yourself in this country's development. We must lead by example. The same with the Prime Minister is leading his cabinet of the country by example. It's the same way I want to see every Labour Party member leading by example. And let me turn my attention to something that sometimes affects us as a party and a country. The notion and the, the tendency to badmouth each other and to undermine each other. Let us commit today, Labour Day 2015, with the resurgence, the renaissance of Antigua and Barbuda, on the leadership of Gaston Brown, that bad mouthing and backstabbing and undermining become a thing of the past, and that productivity and performance towards excellence become our mission. That is the only way that Antigua and Barbuda will grow and thrive and become the powerhouse we all want to see it become. Comrades, your shirts this morning mirror in some ways the slogan of 2014 campaign. We said then we are ready to build. Not only are we ready, we have started the rebuilding process. And so today, our shirts is a testimony of our commitment to the continuing process of rebuilding Antigua and Barbuda. I want you to wear those shirts with pride. I want you to look at the shirts every day and give yourself the commitment. After God, it's country. After God Almighty, it is country. And our mission to country is to build Antigua and Barbuda to the fair land that we wanted to become. Comrades and friends, we were told 10 years ago and somewhere in the years following that Antigua was a country of sheep and goat. And people were dividing us left, right and center. On the Gaston Brown and the Antigua and Barbuda party, we are one family. We are one people with a common purpose and a common mission of rebuilding our country. We are going to leave this place this morning after a few more speeches. Our Prime Minister being one of them. We're going to wend our way through St. John's, culminating in the first instance at 46 North Street, the home of the Union. And then we went our way further to Fort James, where a cultural expose has been planned for you. Enjoy the day. Revel in the day. Savor the moment. Remember this about workers, the gains, the rights of workers. And as we spend this day together, your parliamentary representatives are all in the crowd. Don't lose the opportunity to engage them. We are a listening government. We are a caring government. We are an engaging government. And we want, after today's experience of Labor Day 2015, to be able to take back your suggestions, your ideas, back to the cabinet, back to the parliament, as we continue to rebuild Antigua and Barbuda together. Comrades and friends, enjoy the day. God bless us. In reverence, in homage, in celebration, we celebrate Labor Day 2015. God bless you. I love you.